Hello, library patrons. I have Jada here with me, and we're going to read Pezzettino, one of our favorite stories. Right, Jada? Yeah. It's by Leo Leone. His name was Pezzettino. Listen to the story. All the others were big and did daring and wonderful things. He was small and surely must be a little piece of somebody else, he thought. He often wondered whose little piece he could be, and one day he decided to find out. Pezzettino in Italian means little piece. It's pronounced pezzettino. See pezzettino? Where is he? Oh, the look. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Look, look. Here he is. Okay, you see it? What color is he? Always. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, he asked the one who runs. Am I perhaps your little piece? How could I possibly run if I had a piece missing? Said the one who runs, somewhat surprised. Am I your little piece? He asked the strong one. How could I be strong if I had a piece missing? Was the answer. And when the swimming one came up to the surface, Pezzettino asked him too. How could I swim? If I had a piece missing, answered the swimming one, and he dove back into the deep water. You up there, shouted Pezzettino as he climbed toward the one on the mountain. Am I a little piece of yours? The one on the mountain laughed. Do you think I could climb mountains if I had a piece missing? Pezzettino asked the flying one too but the answer was always the same. Finally, Pezzettino went to the wise one who lived in a cave. Wise one, he said, am I a little piece of yours? Do you think I could be wise if I had a little piece missing? Answered the wise one. I must be someone's little piece, Pezzettino cried out. How can I find out? Go to the island of Wom, said the wise one. Early the next morning, Pezzettino took off in his little boat. Where's the boat? After a rough trip on the high sea, he arrived wet and tired on the island of Wom. How strange! The island was nothing but heaps of pebbles. Not a tree, not a blade of grass, and above all, not a single living creature. Pezzettino climbed up and down, up and down, until finally, exhausted, he tripped, tumbled down, and broke into lots of little pieces. The wise one had been right. Pizzettino now knew that he too, like all the others, was made of little pieces. He picked himself up and when he was sure there was not a single little piece missing, he ran back to his boat. He rowed all night to get home as fast as he could. What's that big white circle? What's in the sky at nighttime? Uh, stars. Stars, but what's a big white circle in the sky at nighttime? Uh, under a uh, moon. A moon. All his friends were waiting for him. I am myself, he shouted full of joy. His friends didn't quite understand what he meant. But Pezzettino seemed happy, and so they were happy too. The end. <laughs>